Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation x power x equals to 1 divided by 32nd root of 2. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, right hand side of this equation. And here I have copied it down and let's focus on the denominator right now, this part. And now let's recall this basic rule. We are going to apply it on the denominator. So this could be written as 1 divided by 2 power 1 over 32. Now let's go ahead and move everything to the top to the numerator. So this could be written as 2 power negative 1 divided by 32. Therefore, the right hand side of this equation could be written as 2 power negative 1 divided by 32. And our left hand side is going to stay same, x power x. Let me go ahead and call this equation as number 1. And now we are going to solve for x. So therefore, let's go ahead and make a substitution. Let me go ahead and say let x equals to 2 power a, where we want to find the value of a. Then our this equation 1 is going to become the left hand side. I'm going to replace this x by 2 power a. So this is going to become 2 power a whole power 2 power a equals to, I'm going to write down this right hand side same, 2 power negative 1 divided by 32. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So the left hand side could be written as 2 power a times 2 power a equals to 2 power negative 1 divided by 32. Now we can see our bases on both sides are same which is 2. So therefore we can equate our exponents as well. Let's go ahead and equate the exponents. So a times 2 power a is going to be negative 1 divided by 32. Let me call this our equation number 2. Now in this next step we are going to find the value of a such that uh, this equation is uh, true. Therefore we are going to pick uh, a equals to negative 1 first and we are going to plug it in in equation 2. So the left hand side of this equation 2 is going to become negative 1 times 2 power negative 1 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us negative 1 times 2 power negative 1 is same as 1 over 2 which is equal to negative 1 divided by 2. We can see this left hand side value not equal to this uh, negative 1 over 32. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this value of a equals to negative 1. Now we are going to pick a equals to negative 2 value and we are going to plug it in in this equation 2. So the left hand side could be written as negative 2 times 2 power negative 2. Now this could be written as negative 2 times this 2 power negative 2 is same as 1 divided by 2 power 2 which is equal to negative 2 times 1 divided by 4 which is same as negative 1 divided by 2. And once again this left hand side is not equal to this uh, negative 1 over 32. So therefore a equals to negative 2 value is uh, also rejected. And likewise we picked a equals to negative 3 and we plugged it in this equation 2 and we can see the left hand side turns out to be a negative 3 over 8 which is not equal to this uh, right hand side. So therefore a equals to negative 3 value is rejected as well. And likewise we applied this a equals to negative 4, a equals to negative 5, a equal to negative 6 
and a equal to negative 7 values as well and we can see that the right hand side and left hand side don't match so no wonder we rejected all those values and now we are going to pick a equals to negative 8 value and we are going to plug it in this equation too so the left hand side could be written as a negative 8 times 2 power negative 8 let's simplify this thing negative 8 times 1 divided by 2 power 8 and this is same as negative 8 divided by 256 and if we simplify and reduce this is going to be negative 1 divided by 32 and now we can see this left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side this equation therefore this is our true statement so therefore we are going to accept uh, this value of a equals to negative 8 and after this long and tedious process we finally figured out uh, a equals to negative 8 is the true value and here's our final step we finally figured out a equals to negative 8 is our valid value we are going to plug it in over here the substitution part so therefore this equation i can write x equal to 2 power i'm going to replace a by this uh, negative 8 so that's going to be negative 8 and now this right hand side could be written as 1 divided by 2 power 8 and we know 1 divided by 2 power 8 is same as 200 56 therefore our x value turns out to be 1 divided by 256 and here's our solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye